So this patient sustained a road traffic accident and you can see the trauma causing the fracture on the lower jaw. So this segment of the chin between the mental nerve has been displaced inferiorly, posteriorly. So we're going to do a surgery to bring this back and to fix it correctly. this more clearly in the lingual view. This is because the muscles that are attached onto the genium and that displaces the segmentalized bone causing this type of unfavorable fracture. I would think it's more like a nature's genioplasty or steatomy. Asymmetric bone. So what you're seeing here is a fracture of the lower jaw. Let me show you this segment you see. This is one of the fractures sustained by this patient. There's another fracture that is literally running from this end of the mandible to this end. And that's moved down because of the fact that the muscles are pulling in. So we're going to be fixing that and this fracture as well. So both of this we're going to be fixing for this patient. Once we open up, you'll be able to see the other fracture that's inside, which is actually an unfavorable displaced fracture. Why? It is displaced. This is because of the muscle attachment, it is exposing the fracture segment here. Once we expose all the muscles, then we are going to reduce it. You can see how it is depressed. So we have kind of got this fracture now to move. We have to still reduce it. You can see the muscle attachments inside and that's pulling the fracture segment and displacing it. Okay, right. And it's done. Prop it up. So we've just fixed with this fracture segment now. I'm gonna show you the other plate. So we used one two hole plate to bridge this main part of the mandible onto the fractured part in the chin on this side also similarly and here we've used one and that's the mental nerve that you see here it's still intact the nerve that's intact there there's a small fracture line on the dental segment between the teeth and we've used wire to stabilize that and because we've got these both segments stable so we should be able to get a very good occlusion let me show you the occlusion of the patient as well now you can see that So we've got the pre-surgery occlusion. This was outside for him before the accident. So you can see the molars are all joining together. 